Hi, Chris Day here, ZL1CVD. I've uh, got another update on the um, cat knobs and cat display. Now, if you go to my website, and I just want to let you know that if you order, uh, there's bundle deals here. And if you're to order the top bundle deal, which includes a cat display 232 and cat knobs, I'll wire it up so that the um, cat display will only need one cable to power it. There's a jumper on the uh, cat knobs. A little solder jumper just down in here. Um, and if that's soldered uh, over, you only need to provide power in this side of the uh, cat knobs. Um, this goes to the transceiver and this is going over to cat display here and it will power it. So it makes it kind of handy. Um, just while I'm here, the cat display, I've had a few questions about that. The display just unplugs and that gives you access to the dip switches here which allow you to reverse the screen uh, and invert the screen. Um, when you plug this back on, the pins line up this side first and this side goes down and there's one pin here, if I can get this to focus, sits over the side there. So that's how that sort of goes. Alright, um, so the cat display is fully compatible with the, uh, and cat knobs, is fully compatible with the FD-DX10. Um, and I guess one of the benefits that you get with uh, cat display is that you can actually see ALC, Watt and SWR when you transmit at the same time. So this, this is great for modes like FT8 or even um, single sideband. It allows you to uh, adjust for maximum um, compression and so forth by monitoring the uh, the power out while you're talking and of course for digital modes uh, the ALC is a great control to look at for um, whether you're driving the mic gain or the the uh, yeah the audio too high or not um, and there was a question on one of the forums does cat display uh, sorry cat knobs also control notch well yes it does um, now it, I've added notch to it um, so you've got notch shift width and uh, about 32 other different things it controls um, it's very responsive um, it's very hard I'm, I'm holding everything I'm changing bands this one I've end one I've set up for band but you can see how easy it is that's band, this one is, uh, the next one is mode. You can see it's just flicking through the modes there very, very fast as I change it. And as I'm changing, you can see on the, dis the display on, sorry, it's very hard to hold this and show everything at the same time. Uh, you can see, shows what I'm changing here. Um... And the other, I guess the other thing I'd have to say is that, or advise, is that cat display does an update straight away when using cat knobs. Cat knobs has priority, so if I turn um, cat knobs, I've just gone up a band, but we won't see that until cat knobs has finished its display, then the cat display will update. But otherwise, the two work very well together. Uh, there is a, a, a mod that you can do if you if you have the FT991A, like I have here. Um, I've set it up so I can power off the FT991A. Power provides power to both cat knobs and cat display. Um, I tapped into the into the um, transceiver. You take the covers off the power amplifier, open up the bottom and take, oh, yeah, open up the, sorry, that's the bottom, yep, take the 
covers off the uh, power amplifier and the well this is the HF power amplifier and antenna tuner and this is the VHF side take the covers off both you'll see these two wires that run through here that's um, positive and negative that's at full current this uh, the relay in here is uh, I think it's 20 amp or 30 amp relay I think it's 20 amp actually with the contacts wired and parallel um, it switches the power to the power amp and this is a great spot to take off anything that you want to uh, to power externally from the 13.8 volt, volts and that's what I'm powering cat, uh, cat knobs and cat display with I just run a bit of tape along, the, I just run a, a couple of wires down here, run it down the side and through one of these little heat sink holes so I haven't damaged the radio in, in any way and I've got some um, tape that I, I tape it on the inside here and everything goes back together very nicely and it's um, it can be reversed for when you sell the transceiver and, and that sort of thing um, but it just makes operation so much better. You can, um, you know, like I showed before, you can just turn it off and on. All right, that's about all for now. Uh, thanks very much for watching my video. Cheers.